So in this video, we will be solving the problem from case 4 where uh, the surface of fin are maintained at a different specified temperatures. So here you are having a copper road which is having thermal conductivity 380, 300 mm long is connected to one wall which is at 300 degrees Celsius and the another wall is at 100 degrees Celsius. And this fin, circular fin road is exposed to an atmosphere of 40 degrees Celsius which is having a convective heat transfer coefficient of 20 watts per meter square Kelvin. And uh, here you have to find the net heat transfer to the air. That means heat, heat transferred by the fin you have to evaluate. And also the heat conducted to the other end. That is the E end 100 degree Celsius end heat transferred. That is Q towards X equal to L or at 100 degree Celsius is also to be evaluated. So first part uh, you will have to evaluate the heat transferred by the fin or net heat transfer to the air. And expression in Korea from the data book for the case for fins heat transferred will be square root of HPK into T naught minus T infinity plus TL minus T infinity uh, into cos HML minus 1 divided by sin HML. So first we will be applying equation is square root of HPK AC into T naught minus T infinity plus TL minus T infinity into cos h which is hyperbolic cosine function minus 1 all divided by sin h ml. So for evaluating this we will have to find the value of m first where m is defined as the constant which is square root of h into p divided by k into ac which is equal to square root of h is given which is in SI units 20 perimeter this is circular or road for which perimeter is pi times diameter, diameter is 15 mm, diameter of road is 15 mm or it is 0 0.015 meter divided by k is given 380 watts per meter Kelvin into AC cross sectional area for the circular road which is pi by 4 into d square or 0 0.015 square. If you are solving this one, you will be getting the value of m as 3.746, 3.746 m in the uh, unit on the meter raised to minus 1 on So value will be this one. And for substituting it is better to find the value of m into l. m into l is 3.746 in the unit meter raised to minus 1 on into l length of the fin which is 300 mm or 0.3 in the unit meter. So ml in unit to kaanathilla. So either multiply the ningakku kittam m into l will be getting around 1.124. Now you will be substituting this for finding the q fin. So h area, p area, k area, ac area, bakke ella values area. Then you will be getting q fin equal to, if you are substituting all these quantities, then q fin will be equal to 41 words on it. This is the answer for the first part net heat transfer to the air or the heat transferred by the fin. Next you have to evaluate the heat conducted to the other end. That is you are having a fin which is connected to two surfaces. One is x equal to 0 and the other surface is x equal to L and as I have explained in the previous video heat will be transferred this is heat transferred at x equal to 0 and there will be heat transferring to the other surface also which is q at x equal to L the difference sorry this is q at x equal to 0 the difference between q at x equal to 0 and q at x equal to L will be coming in the form of heat which is transferred to the surrounding air this is q fin so you are having uh, the energy balance or the Q fin will be equal to Q at x equal to 0 minus Q at x equal to L. So this Q transferred by the fin you have obtained it as 41 watts. This is the first part. Second part is Q which is transferred to the x equal to L or to the 100 degree Celsius surface like a transfer in the heat on a conductor. This is the You have to evaluate the value of Q at x equal to 0. How you can evaluate Q at x equal to 0? This Q at x equal to 0 will be evaluated based on the Fourier's conduction. So here you will be evaluating Q at x equal to 0 which is minus K into AC into Fourier's law dt by dx at x equal to 0 will be applied for evaluating this q at x equal to 0. So this is the expression. 
ini dt by dx is the derivative of actual temperature variable so idu cheyanengil namakku temperature distribution ariyana so we have explained in the previous video that the temperature distribution is t minus t infinity divided by t not minus t infinity equal to tl minus t infinity divided by t not minus t infinity into uh, sin hmx plus sin h m into l minus x all divided by sin hml on general temperature distribution from this you can find temperature at any distance temperature you can find which will be equal to t infinity plus tl minus t infinity ningal adiyam t not minus t infinity divide multiply ga right side then add t infinity then you will be getting plus t not minus t infinity into sin h m into l minus x uh, the whole divided by sin hml so here you are having the general expression for temperature at any distance so now you can find q at x equal to 0 which is equal to nerthe paranjalla minus k into ac into dt by dx at x equal to 0 now we are having this temperature distribution or in the temperature general expression so you can find dt by dx first term constant on and remaining uh, terms you can take a derivative then you will be getting q at x equal to 0 you will be getting if you are doing this uh, differentiation properly then you will be getting square root of h into p into kc into t naught minus t infinity into cos h ml minus of tl minus t infinity divided by t naught minus t infinity divided by sin hml in the the heat transferred at x equal to 0 it is you solve it you will be getting this heat transferred at x equal to 0 is 69.88 watts question la nammal odi idalla kandupidikkan parane you are asked to find the heat which is transferred to the surface which is at 100 degree celsius or q at x equal to l aanu kandupidikkanda so now you are having q at x equal to l will be equal to q at x equal to 0 minus heat transferred by the fin which is 69.88 minus 41 watts which will be getting around 28.88 watts will be the final answer for the second part of this question thank you